everything. Uh, that that is a bit of a problem. The, my one of my things with Snake. I, I actually like Snake. I don't mind Snake at all. Um, it's the fact that his, his his explosions are so big. I wouldn't mind C4, but grenade. Oh boy. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna go on to. This should be semi, so I'm thinking this is best of five, but I could be wrong, so don't quote me. You should never quote Index. All right. Right now, that was kind of a strange uh, response from Nitro, the, the up air like that, but hey. Okay. Ooh, ooh, what a trap. That was really nasty. Easy damage tacked on there. Okay, the forward tilt. That forward tilt's really strong. Uh, very quick from a Belmont. Oh boy, getting hit <laughs> by his own fire. Not good. I don't. I don't see Sparkle go for um, up air a whole lot. I mean, I think maybe he's trying to freshen it up, or I don't know what. Nice. Ooh, good parry. There we go. Taking that one out for sure. Yeah, this is the second time he hit him with that. Uh, with that holy fire. And this is basically where Spargo's at his most comfortable, where he just, or uh, Nitro's at his most comfortable, when he just starts throwing out the aerials because he has the lead that he has. And we're joined again by the tempo. Yep. So unfortunately, I am still in, so I'm going to ah, have to hop off eventually, yeah. but Good for I you. will not leave you alone here. So until then, uh, we had again Spargo and Nitro. You know, this is going to be a really difficult matchup, I'd say, for, for both characters. You know, I feel like. Cloud is just like such a very kill heavy character, you know. Oh my, he went like nowhere off of that blade beam. That was, still though, he was able to connect with the fire and then it blew up. That was, that was awesome, dude. Right. That was so cool. I feel like the only reason why it didn't kill Nitro outright was because he got like the outer hitbox of the blade yeah, beam. Yeah, he, he wasn't like stuck in the nexus of it. Right. Oh, that dash attack. Ooh, you know what? That crossing up might have been a death sentence for him. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, it, 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 I've seen this matchup a few times before. Um, they have some similar tools and things like their down tilt, right. um, but the range difference is just enough to make life a bit of a living hell for Cloud. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, nice catch. Yeah, Sparkle's very good at anti-airing with uh, up tilt, uh, oh, just yeah. in general, up um, anti-airing. Okay, are we going to see a grab? No, no, no. And that would have been time to grab as well because uh, Nitro entered that shield real right. quick. I mean, okay. now we. Oh, oh, oh yeah. good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. I thought he got him for sure. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. I mean, that's when he happens when you get the normal air dodge instead of the the directional air dodge. Yo, but, that. that uh, I that, like the I like the plan there using the ice kind of recovery recovery, but that yeah. instant dash attack though, mm -hmm. like that was that was a really good punish. Right. Oh, gets the down tilt off stage. You know, 172. Can he finish it off? But he gets hit by the the holy water was, on the was, ground. That's a good idea though. Yeah. Yeah. I I love recovering high. <laughs> no one, no one's ready. No one's ready for me to be something stupid. All right. Okay. Oh, I thought he was gonna get a shield grab for sure. Right. Yeah, that poke. I mean, uh, you're because you're cloud. You're most likely just gonna go for the uppy. It's just like true. the safest option. True. Very true. But. Especially at very low percent, because it's, it's not right. it's not a kill move by any means unless you have the uh, the limit break. Right. I mean, it does do damage. It does like twenty percent. Oh yeah, it does damage. It just doesn't kill. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Nice cross under going underneath, but yeah, the positioning wasn't entirely there. I think he ran a little too far, but that's okay. Spargo. Ooh. Yet again. Ooh, that was a nice uh, angled four there, and yet again, you know, the, the scary thing about this matchup is that. No, Nitro can die at any moment if he just gets hit by like one thing off stage. Both of these characters are super gimpable, um, but I, yeah, I, I think I think Belmonts have better recovery than Cloud, generally speaking. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Nitro's setting up for something. I can just right. I can feel it in my bones. He's trying to condition this man to recover a certain way. Oh, but you know what? Oh, that air dodge is gonna be covered by Spark. And he's looking for he's looking for the finishing touch. Oh yeah, he's sharking it. Oh, oh but mean, no, no, not enough, not enough. And you know what? I like what he oh, yep. He gets it. Oh my god. You I know? thought he was going to side beam. Yeah. But that, I mean, hey, that's even better. Even better. You know what? That, that was just. You know, he was looking for the back air. And he's like, okay, I didn't get it. Oh, uh, let me get it back to stage. Oh, wait, you're still out there? Fair. Yeah. Yeah, he took him out for sure. Mm. All right. Nitro Nitro wants that run back oh, really yeah. badly. I can, I can just see it in his face. Oh my goodness, okay, okay. So I've always, there was this one faded tournament that I went to. Okay, I thought he was about to pick Yoshi's yeah. Island. Don't ever, 
if you fight a Belmont, take them on the Yoshi's Island. Oh yeah, they can't do they can't do any of their their shenanigans for free, basically. Not for free. I mean, they can get away with it if they know what they're doing, but. Uh, yeah, take it from your old pal Index. If you fight a Richter in bracket, you bring them to Yoshi's Island, and you will get better results. I promise you. All right, so we are going to Zismishville. It yeah. used to be Starterville back in the days. Yeah, now it's Starter Stadium. <laughs> yeah, it's Starter Stadium. That's right. Uh, here you go. It goes a quick fair, and you know what? Nitro seems to be struggling to get off the ledge, but you no, know a quick up B allows them to break free. You know, I could see what Nitro was trying to do there. He was trying to get the down B right before going through the platform, and that would have been amazingly good for him. But now he's kind of getting owned right now. That's not the place to land. Yeah, I mean, that's the unfortunate thing about Belmont is that they... What are you doing? Oh, yep. no. He, he got the hit on the first up B, and then it turned into limit, and then it, uh, that was unfortunate, man. I mean, like, I feel like he just went too deep. I mean, do you think that, like, hitting a character, like like misspaces you just that slight bit so that he didn't grab ledge. I think it does a little bit. I think it does a little bit. But it just sucked because he had the limit on that final hit, but right. he already used the up B, so it was like ah Yeah. Oh nicely done. Yeah, you know what? Speaking of up B out of shield, you kinda of forget that Nitro also has one as well. Right. I mean definitely it's one of those things where like both characters have to respect it. Yes. Okay. Oh okay. I love that using the cross to uh, counteract the blade beam right there. Yeah that's a good idea. Oh man, and, and you know when you hit that uh, that little holy water, it kind of moves a little bit, right? I mean, it, the bottle itself is a projectile. People forget about it because it's the fire that comes up afterwards. But yep. you can catch the bottle, uh, and yet again, if you hit it with another projectile, it becomes a neutral uh, thing. So it hits both players. Oh, nice! I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that's how exactly how it works. Right. So basically, if it hits anything before it lands, it becomes a neutral uh, property. So it hits everybody. It hits everybody. Yeah. But if you pick it up and you throw it, then it becomes it, yours. It doesn't hit yours. It yeah. doesn't hit you. Okay. Yeah, good to know. Oh, that's... Mm, I thought he had uh, Spargo's percent. That would have been death if he was at 126. Right. No, uh, but Nitro's the one with the lead here. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. Air dodging back. Oh, he wanted to catch the normal getup oh, or the roll, course. but you know what, Spargo timing his getup option really well. I mean, if you are going to normal getup, normal getup at the right time. Right, exactly. Typically, I do that as soon as I see they charge up that force, man. Because that's what they're going to do. Right. Just like that. Oh, trying to get past the <laughs> that face when you end up teabagging the oh. the platform. All right. Like I just want to get back from Legend. Oh no. Oh, he's fine. Yeah. That would have sucked. Yeah. All right. All right. I like it. I thought he was gonna like try to blade beam or something, but right. honestly, no. I I can see. Yeah, it's get in his face. Yeah, definitely get in his face. That should be death. I mean, yeah, he no definitely. Way. Kept, yeah, he had the jump. He had the double jump. Yeah, again know. with. Like I said earlier, your double jump is your most important resource. It like do not waste it at all with Belmont or any character for that matter. Because like, yeah, that 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 is going to be the difference between life and death, and the difference between how a high player uses it and how a mid to low level player uses it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's especially like you have to be able to. Ooh, that! Oh my God, the ultimate shield though. Right. That that was a nice protectorate. I like right. that. Okay, ooh. ooh, not getting the punish ready. All right. But there we go. I like how he just misspaced one thing, and Spargo's just like, you're going to die now for that. <laughs> yeah, there's no planet where that doesn't kill at that percent. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. Nitro's changing it up a little bit, and I, I like what he's doing. He's not doing the same thing over and over again. Oh, yeah. Given the illusion of choice. You, you, you think you can do this against me? Wrong. That is a wrong answer. Now you're on fire. Now you're on fire, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh my God! You know, you know, Nitro wanted to punish it, but unfortunately, gets hit by the splash hitbox on the landing hit. <laughs> Those opportunities, man, yeah. they're all gone now. Oh, 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 maybe not. I mean, oh, I mean, you know what? He's alive. Yeah, he's, he's alive, living. and he doesn't have limit. So, if you can just... Oh no, he went for the down air. That's death. That's a shame. Yeah. Is it just me, or does down B stall Richter in the air? I think it might for like. A few frames. For, like, the frame where he throws it. Right. Yeah. But, like, not enough where, like, you would actually use it to, like, not like Fox Shine, where, like, you would purposely use it to, yeah. uh, to like, keep you in the air. Or, like, uh, Nest Sight uh, Down B, you yeah. know, where, like, you purposely, like, stall in the air for that. Yeah. I mean, if that is what he did, though, that was that was really subtle. All right. All right. Game to this. And again, this is semi, so it should be best out of five, correct? Yes. Semis is always best out of five. All right. Here we go. You know what? Nitro just keeping Cloud like kind of out of the zone. I know this is one of the few stages where like Nitro like actually like doesn't mind Yoshi's. Yeah, no, because like, like yeah. I'm not saying that like oh 
you win 10 out of 10 times, right. you know, but it's just like, this is not a comfy stage. Right. But I mean, if Nitro's the type of guy to, you know, take his himself onto the stage and practice right. it, right. good for him. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. that's another thing you can do. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you use the slants and you just jank people out. Right, and you can see that he had to use his double jump in order to get the, the tether, but that's not going to work on this stage. It's also kind of nice for Cloud, too, because he has a wall jump. Right. So he actually has, he has more options to recover with um, than Richter does, essentially. Ooh, okay. Dude, imagine if the Belmonts had a wall jump on top of everything. Oh my god, please. <laughs> like, please, no. Then, then, their, uh, then their up air might be an actual, like, viable, like, recovery option. Yeah, big time. Speaking of up air, though, it's a good kill option. Oh, sure. yeah. Ooh, boy, okay, got the back air really well spaced. It's not enough to hit it. It's right. a, you have to get that spacing on point. Oh, nice. Yeah, he was uh, crouching under the... Oh, that was his own projectile, so I right. heard him anyway. Oh, boy. Stopping that cross in its tracks. Ooh, ooh, oh, yeah, that shield got him in trouble. Right. Yeah. You know, just hitting his shield a little bit too close right there, getting punished for that. And yet again, not spacing his aerials, so that that's what Cloud can, like, really do in this game, I feel like, is that if you have anything that's unspaced on shield, you're getting a beat. You're getting a beat. Something's going to happen in yeah. your life, man. Yeah, that's a shame, because uh, it's such a big sword, <laughs> you know? It's gigantic. Oh, 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 okay. And wow, you can't really punish it either if it's charged up like that. Yeah, at that at that uh at that range as well. Ooh, okay, okay, I like what I see. I like what I see. I'm trying to use uh his superior range to his advantage. Right. Oh my god, you saw the bottle, it hit cloud and it just did not reach the ground in time. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. There's that down air. Yeah, <laughs> I had a feeling he was going to do it that time. Because he's been pretty sparing with it, knowing that Spargo has good anti-airs. Right. Okay. Ooh, not oh, not quite. I like that. Using the air dodge to you know, avoid the axe right there. Yep. Oh, man. And you see how he's trying to use the Holy Fire to hit Spargo directly upon losing vulnerability. Right. Like, that is... That's some good stuff. Yeah, this man knows his spacing no matter what stage he's on. Oh, Ooh. no, tech that. Tech that. You tech that. He teched it, but then it still died. Oh, oh. oh my That's God. That's okay. Best of, best of five. This, yet again, if he had a wall jump, he would have lived. If he had a wall jump, he would have lived. Oh, my God. Very true. Very true. Yeah, that's Spargo for you. Yet again, no. Where, where do you go for the counter pick at this point? <laughs> well, you don't go to the same stage. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Um, that was just, that was some good stuff. Right. And here we go, Smashville. Yeah, no, Belmont, Belmont's definitely are hard to play. Uh, oh, yeah. Even, I mean, even if a character's annoying, it doesn't mean they're easy mode. Yeah. Definitely a good Belmont player will make you feel like every option you pick is wrong. Oh, my God. Yeah, they will. But here we go to game four. You know, can Nitro bring it to a game five, or will Spargo just seal it out right here? I totally believe it. Nitro Nitro can fight like anybody, yeah. especially since uh, Belmonts aren't a character you see all the time. So, you know. Yeah. Yet again. Oh, I like that, using the up to break through the, the cross slash. Yeah, and that, that cross slash is actually insanely annoying. Uh, it just does so much damage and even leads in other things at low percent. Oh. Right. Okay, there's Ooh. that dash attack. Hmm. I, I wonder if Spargo has any type of, like, machinations to pick up that uh, that holy fire. I mean, maybe when he has limit to get, like, limit something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Nice shielding of the uh, up tilt, but that was uh, turned out to be a big the whole time. Right. And, you know, good, good on him not to uh, buffer air dodge right there. I know a lot of people, when they... Uh, see the holy water they get, and get hit by it. They like want to roll on stage or jump, so they'll buffer an aerial or something and they'll yeah. get hit by it. Yeah. Oh boy, that was a really honest attempt to recover from Spargo. I like when uh, he recovered high, uh, but it's just like there were too many, <laughs> too many things on the stage at once. All right. Far too much pepperoni on my pizza. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you know he wanted to tech roll in, but you know what? Nitro would be like, okay, I, I'm gonna tech roll out because like worst case scenario, I get hit with like dash attack or dash grab, and that won't kill me. Yeah. That's another thing, too. It's just like, no one likes hitting grab, but at this percentage, I mean, like, what can Cloud really do with a grab? You know, th that's a big part of fundamentals in this game. You have to know what can kill you, and you have to know what is not really much of a threat. Right. Ooh, that was such a good forward air. That was such a good forward air. Yo, all this stuff is happening in, like, just the right place. I love that. No, I feel like Nitro definitely is able to find 
his control, like, you know, Thaumon's a very much a control character. They they yeah. they say they dictate where you're going to go, how you're going to punish, you know? Yo, that tilt. No, don't get your shield broken. No. I told you not to do that. What? Why would you just hold your shield? That's okay. Hey, yo, that was his third stock only. That was his third stock only. I so mean, but like, what, what are you going through your mind at this point? Like, the, the, the mind game that, yeah, like, you... Like, yeah. <laughs> You could have you could have upbeat out as you could have rolled like like half the cast like or half like any other like normal person would have rolled. Just at roll that point. away. Yeah. And start zoning him harder. Right. Like, oh, that was that was so great, man. <laughs> oh my god. I, this Spargo just got super lucky because there is yeah. there is no way that would have worked on like anyone else. else. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was the best thing I've ever seen. And we're you know what that. That might have actually been just a little boost in confidence. That spark. Oh, no. Never mind. Never no. mind. It's, it's, it's He's trying to get hit by that axe. Oh, he made it. He made it. Yes. Yeah, he just barely avoided the nair off stage. Whew. I feel like if he, I feel like he was going to get hit by that axe, like he wanted to. But right. I'm sure he'll take not getting hit by the axe and recovering. Oh yeah. Ooh. Bruh. Yeah, get it up. Yeah, shield. And I feel like Spargo had the same plan because he didn't have him limit at the swords. That's true. Okay, there's that grab. Okay, this is one of those few chances to. Oh, okay, oh. I like the down B attempt. Right. It was new and different and creative. Right. Oh. You know what? Dash attack, you know, here's the edge guard. You no, know, Belmont's can struggle oh, landing. You already know. Yeah. You already know. Oh. You already know. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I feel like he, he used his air dodge like way too early. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, that axe almost hit. And then yeah. that fire almost hit. Man. Oh my god, no, not like this. No. Oh, like, he learned He learned not to air dodge because that that's how he died game. Game three. Yeah, Spargo really wants those downers. He, he's really good at getting those clutch downers as well. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Spacing out like a madman. Right. Really good forward tilt. That forward tilt is so understatedly good. I mean, all those chains, like, yet again, and oh. gets the up tilt. Oh. Yep, up tilt kills. Oh my god. Up, <laughs> up tilt. It kills super late. It's like, but it kills. It can kill. Woo! Yep. Man. Okay, so that, that shield break did not mean the end of the world for your boy, right. Nitro. Oh my god. Oh my god, like, I swear to God, if he did not have like a two stock lead at that point, like he, he probably would have lost a set. Oh yeah, that. he would have he would have gone bodied. I yeah. I have no doubt in my mind. No, I I, I love watching these guys. Uh, I don't see Spargo come out very often because he's you know he's Tijuana. He's yeah. in TJ. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I mean, how far of a drive is uh, TJ from here? I'm very curious about that myself, actually. Because I mean, I know San Diego's like an hour hour and a half. Yeah. You know so. TJ is probably like even further than that, so I would imagine like at least like a two, maybe like two and a half hour drive. Like I said, I think uh, he he went to breakthrough and he just came here. Right. You know, he's like, may as well, may as well try to get a little extra money here. Right. I mean, I don't think Spargo went to breakthrough, or at least he didn't uh, compete in it. Oh yeah, maybe not. Yeah. Either way, he's here now, and I'm grateful. I mean, maybe he maybe he showed up to like support his boys. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. That's likely. That's actually yeah. the most likely thing I think. Uh, oh yeah, knock yeah. it. That is very rare. I don't ever really see Nitro mess those uh, those forward airs up, right. which is just a testament to how good he is. Because like that's already hard to do on its own, and being able to do something so difficult so consistently, you gotta give your boy props whether you like a Belmont or not. All right. Look at this. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. 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 Oh, we. Oh, oh no. I, yeah, yeah, he I, got pineapple. Yeah. Like when I saw him go up, I couldn't tell if that was a jumper up B. Oh, you know he wanted the, the the cross to hit him and get that up smash to just take the stock, but <laughs> yeah. not going to find it because, you know, Spargo does the other thing. If you get hit by Holy Water, DI up and away and try to jump out of it as fast as you can. It's true. It's very true. Wise words. And I think uh, those are words that Spargo knows pretty well. Oh, yeah, with that forward tilt. And Nitro allowed him to get away with the nonsense, but that conversion was so strong. Oh, okay, yes. You know, and not a whole lot of space for Spargo to run to, but can he close out the stock is the question. You know, get shield poked there, and yet again, all this shield damage is going to be really deadly for Spargo soon. Yeah, I mean, he's got a pretty nice lead, though, and it looks like he's only going to get extended. Right. Okay, okay. I mean, Nitro just needs to take out the stock as soon as possible because, you know, Spargo's looking to just extend this lead into the next stock. Yeah, and Nitro's making really safe advances, too. Like, I, I, I can really respect, like, what he's doing here to try to make sure that he gets that kill while taking as little damage as possible. Oh, that dash attack, man, has so much range. You really just don't expect it. Yeah. Ooh, and it's very disjointed, too. If you try to shield grab him, and unfortunately not going to be able to do so. Exactly. Yeah, no, I, I think uh, instant dash attacking is actually really potent in this game. Look at this. Okay, uh, the short hops. I like what he's doing here, too, because like, he's, he's keeping his limit. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, that's the Belmont Syndrome, you know. You, you can rack up as much damage, but if you can't find that kill, they're going to live to, like, 200%. Yeah. No, I was, I was saying uh, that uh, Spargo keeping his limit, like, at just, like, just a minuscule amount before it hits the actual break. Yeah. He's using that to, like, recover in the event of a trade. Right. Uh, it's good stuff. Yeah, definitely do that as a Cloud player. Hey, not quite getting the Blade Beam, but the accuracy was there. Right. Okay, there's that grab. Uh, I don't think up throw will kill. I, I, I mean, probably now will kill. Yeah, probably. He has no raids to speak of, so I could see him living through another one. But he's oh. not even thinking about that. He just wants a back air. Okay, okay, got the limit. And the nice, thing, uh, the nice thing about having that limit is that, like, even if you don't use your attack, you are a better character for 15 seconds. Yeah. I mean, can, can we just talk about how he comboed Blade Beam into Cross Slash? Oh, my God. I've never seen a Cloud do that before. Uh, was it just a normal Blade Beam? It was, no, it was uh, Limit Blade Beam to uh, regular Cross Slash. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Did, like, 40-something percent. Like, dang. Yeah, it probably sent him a super long way, too. My God. That's another thing that's so good about Cross Slash is that even if it doesn't do, like, hella damage, it is carrying you from the middle to the corner. It's, ugh. Okay, ooh, I don't know about that forward air. Right. And yet again, you can just tell that, you know, Nitro is trying to be as safe as possible and be like, okay, I'm probably not going to throw out any crosses because you're not going to fall for that and, like, you're just going to tear me for it. But Yeah, he can hit him back. Right. You know, it's, yeah. Okay, there's that cross, okay. Still being pretty, man, the spacing is so good. Even when he misses something, he's, he's missing by a nose hair. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Nice attempt. I like that. Uh, spark Ooh, Ooh yeah, just ends dude. it right yeah, then and there. Man. Yeah. Kids, no joke. That's yeah. what happens. That's what happens when you're 13. You have, like, the reflexes of a 13-year-old right. <laughs> as opposed to all these uh, slubby adults. Oh, my God. Like, we're a little bit.